Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to 3D print that design that I uh, mixed up from Dreyfus Duke's uh, Rack and Pinion into something similar to this. Now I have made a modification since then um, to put the claws on. As I said I was going to do, I don't have a print out of it, but here's the original sort of mock-up picture that I drew right at the start. So let's get on with it and see what happens, eh? Okay, so we've got our first printed parts here. Um, I had a bit of difficulty with the pink PLA. I'm not sure if it's uh, the setting. I, I mucked around with the settings a little bit, but um, or if it's the the pink dye, perhaps. But um, it's, it's probably something I did. So we've got we've got a couple of bubbles. There's uh, if you see there, there's a bubble. Um, this one's alright. This one here has a bubble. Uh, made the shell a bit too thin, I think. Anyway, um, the gears turned out really nice. I'm, I'm actually super impressed with the uh, the hole right there. It, it looks super round um, and uh, consistent. Oh, 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 oh. I don't have a staple diet. Oh. I was super impressed with the resolution on the on the teeth just they they printed really really well um, I'm actually really surprised how how perfectly it printed I didn't expect that my printer could reliably do that I don't know why I didn't think it would but um, um, another thing is uh, the measurements the measurements on the printer are really good uh, this this top is supposed to be four millimeters, and uh, if we just line that up, there I don't know if you can see that it's uh, four millimeters, and then um, it's one one centimeter, so ten, ten millimeters across, and it's, it's dead on every everything, everything's just dead dead on, exactly how I told it to be. So uh, yeah, we'll print up the next bit and um, see what happens there. Okay, so I've got the base printed out now. Um, I changed up the settings again, and uh, with with some mixed results, I uh, made the shell thicker, uh, the same thickness it used to be, and uh, but I changed the resolution, the the print layers to 0.2 of a millimeter. It used to be 0.1. Um, for the most part, it looks fine. Uh, the bottom layer had this problem though I'm not really sure I think maybe maybe the print bed 
was not close enough and it didn't really stick properly to the tape. Um, also there's obviously something wrong with my model because uh, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, there's two triangles here. They're not actually supposed to be there. So I don't know why that happened. But I actually don't mind the way it looks. I, I think it actually looks pretty nice. So first of all, uh, these these um this hole and this support amazingly just it <laughs> just worked. I was so impressed with this. Um, I didn't really measure to make to make this shaft. I just sort of um, I eyeballed it and then I made it a little bit smaller than that. Um, and it it's really it's it's great. It's it's the perfect. Uh, it's it's loose enough. It's not not really gripping. Uh, couldn't believe it. I did have a little bit of problem. I've made this this hole too small, or this shaft too big, depending on how you want to think about it. Um, but it didn't take much to fix. It was it was a really tight fit. It almost almost looked like you making a join, and it would just it was perfect. It was a perfect fit. But that's not what I wanted. I didn't want a perfect fit. I wanted a, um, a sliding sliding shaft. So what I did is I just I just uh, got a little bit of sandpaper and smoothed over the edges, beveled off the corners a little bit, and um, there's still a little of an initial initial stick, but uh, it might help if I put it the right way up there. It's, it works better in one way than the other. And that's that's all I needed to do, so that worked quite fine. So to set it up after doing all that filing, I just again I put it in the, the right way. Just set that up there. I just uh, like this to be a little bit off the edge. Um, you just. Just line it up nice and straight. And uh, there we go. So it all fits together really well. Um, like I said, I didn't really do much measurements in terms of where to place these. I just I just guessed on the CAD program. And it, yeah, just it perfect perfectly well. Exactly what I wanted. And that's that. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you have any suggestions uh, or questions, please put them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Um, yeah, until next time. Ciao. Oi bird. <laughs>